morning everybody. Uh, we made it. This will get us up to, uh, we are in Beasley, he's, uh, Beasley, Texas. And this will get us to Kentucky tomorrow. Drop and then uh, Pick some up to take us over the weekend. So, figure out how to get in here real quick. Never mind. Your destination is on the left. remain in your truck. Someone will be with you shortly. That's a big load. I almost feel like that would be a headache having to uh, deal with the trailer being that far off the ground or that low to the ground. But I know on a lot of the trailers, you can air them up to get over railroad tracks and stuff like that. I don't know, I don't know, it, it might have it on that style. I know like the bigger heavy haul trailers that's got the, the Jeeps and you know stuff added onto it. Uh, when I was talking to them guys, they said they have a switch and you can get like two foot off the ground airing, uh, airing the trailer up to get over low spots and stuff. But I don't know. I'd assume that one has it because at the front of that trailer, you know, on that the low pro deck, it, it looks like it may be, I don't know, three and a half, four inches off the ground. And then it kind of bows up in the middle, and then in the back, it's probably three and a half inches off the ground. So, looks like that would be uh, fun. I'd like doing stuff like that, though. I mean, breaks up the monotony, a little more challenging. Kind of why I like the oversized or the over-dimensional loads. Uh, it's just something different. It can be a little bit of a headache, you know, having to take all the the detours and you know, paying attention, making sure you're getting on the right road and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I, I like it. I, I like hauling oversized loads. Anyway, we still here waiting. I don't know. I'm thinking about going in and talking to someone, but the sign says to remain in your truck. We'll give them uh, just a little bit. And if no one comes out, then we'll go in and talk to somebody. See y'all in a minute. So, pull around here, hop on the scale, and then knock on the window. made it but I didn't cut it far enough out to put the uh, I still had half of the outer trailer at our trailer wheel off the scale so.
go in and see what we're getting. What's going on, everybody? Uh, so it's not pretty, but it'll get the job done. It's a. Uh, I hate tarping, but I mean, if the money's right, I'll do anything. Twenty dollars is twenty dollars. I'm just saying. <laughs> No, anyway, uh, a tarpon ain't so bad until you get crates like this that have no top. So you're having to roll a tarp through an open top. I don't know if anyone's got suggestions, I'm up for it. It's just a pain in the butt, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, we're uh, supposed to get on the road. Got a long way to go and a short time to get there. We'll holler at y'all later. tell in the time lapse uh, both jippuses screwed me over big <laughs> oh man both of them were saying road closures and had me getting off at whatever exit it was or not it wasn't even an exit it looked like it was uh 
still an interstate, right? But I noticed in the right-hand two lanes, like all the other trucks and stuff were over there, and no one was going to the left. And I was like, maybe I should get over and follow them. Because I don't know the downtown Houston area that, that well. Uh, I don't really know it at all. But both the Garmin GPS and Google G GPS was saying to follow the route I took, right? Wrong. <laughs> Straight up downtown Houston. Like, downtown. I guess it's times like this where I'm glad I have a single axle. Might have been a little tight with a tandem. Might have been. It's, uh, I think I'm just going to get back on 45 now, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, both of them. Straight screwed the pooch on this deal. Anyway, I'm fixing to hop on 45, but it's got me like, it's saying an hour added to the uh, trip because of this. I don't know. Yeah, like I said, six, I think 69 that wraps around Houston is the one they were saying was closed due to an accident or something. I don't know. Anyway, I, yeah, I started, when I got on whatever that was, and it started saying, freeway ends, I was like, uh, okay, which way do I go? And it was, uh, I think Louisiana Avenue through downtown or Brazo Street. Anyway, let me uh, let me get off here and get through here. Maybe, hopefully. Later.